Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the DVE node. So we're going to jump into Fusion where we've got some media set up. And we're going to bring in a DVE node. DVE. Now, what the DVE node does is it emulates the old like 70s and 80s style digital video effects before we had software to do all this fun stuff so the old style like 3d effects that you saw like on text and different footage coming in and flipping and spinning and coming in and out of the uh, display that's that's what this emulates so we're going to build something old school like that and before we do let's go ahead and let's make our fitted footage uh, kind of old school here bring this give it down a little bit and bring my lift down and kill my contrast and let's bring in a damage node so we'll drop a film damage in there and let's bump this up a little bit so there we go. Got some old school footage going. And we're gonna bring in a merge node. And before I jump into that, let's actually uh, show you what this DVE node does. So on the node itself, you've got your main input, your main output, and you have two masks. This blue mask is your standard mask that we have on almost every node to just say, hey, only have the effect work within here so if i uh, change this stuff up it's only going to uh, happen within that rectangle this other one is a mask for the dve to actually take effect meaning if i plug this in you can see it's not masking out our entire node it's just taking effect where i tell that mask to be so if i was to bring in say a let's reset this an ellipse and input it into our mask and if i only wanted her uh, like head to be part of the digital effects i could move her head into different space so on the node you have your center which is the center of the overall effect you have your Z move, which is going to move that in Z space. So you can see we're zooming in and out, moving that in Z space. You have your pivot, which your pivot is important for your look. So if we, uh, let's go ahead and move this. If we wanted our pivot to be like perfectly on the bottom of that circle, we would just move our pivot. Tell this little green X is where we want our pivot to be. So now if we, let me switch that order. If we rotate on our X and our Y is gonna rotate on that pivot point. And you have your Z pivot. And this is going to pivot everything in Z space. Now down here you can pivot on your X. Sorry about that. You can pivot on your X, Y, and Z. So we can pivot on all axes, axes. We have shear for the X and shear for the Y. And perspective only works if you actually have a pivot going on in your X and Y. So if I uh, zero these out, you can see nothing's happening. But if I uh, give a little pivot to the X, now that perspective is going to use that rotation to give us perspective on that rotation. Now over here on your masking controls, this is really only going to work when we use this white input. So if we have black background, it's going to knock everything out or fill background and your alpha modes of additive, subtractive or ignore alpha. So let's refresh this. Let's 
get rid of our little ellipse and let's build something with this just because uh, we can so let's make a uh, like 70s style uh, little title here so uh, let's see here the more you know and that one of the old school TV uh, things and let's change this up to uh, there we go that works and we'll change our size and we're going to change our color let's get some uh, 70s colors going and we're going to copy this control C control V control V get rid of that merge and control V let's get four so on this one let's make this a like yellowish and this one let's make this like a uh, and on this one we're gonna make this white and go to our shading and change up our softness on the X and mainly yeah mainly the X a little bit on the Y there we go let's bring in a multi-merge and we're going to take this white one and put it in our background and we'll just input the rest of these into our multi-merge and we're going to bring in a rectangle put it on our brown let's uh let's do our orange first so we can really see what we're doing Put a mark out our orange we'll just copy this and we're going to put it into our yellow let's bring that down so there we go we got some nice uh nice uh 70s style uh, text going and we're going to soften these up a little bit there we go so we can plug this into our dve plug our dve into our merge and now we got some text going so what can we do we can uh Let's go back to the beginning and let's uh, move this over. Actually, let's go ahead and make a keyframe in the middle here of our uh, location. Let's do our Z move and our X, Y, and Z order. And let's do our pivot too. I mean, our perspective. So we'll go back to the beginning. Let's change our Z move to bring it way in the back. And let's bring it up here. And let's change this to minus 1080. And let's do this one minus 1082. So we've got our crazy 70s style text flipping in and keyframe all that and let's change this a little bit
and let's move to the end and bring our Z move in. Until it goes out, which would be at 0.6. And we'll change up our perspective a little bit. There we go. Let's uh, let's do a little rotation. There we go. And we can uh, just copy our film damage, and we can stick it in here. got a 70s style title going on using the DVE node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.